Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to show you guys your best friend in terms of an application if you're transferring from one device to another device. On the top you see where it says import from iCloud, and then on the bottom it has Android to Galaxy, which also means Galaxy to Galaxy. Now in terms of the bottom down here, we'll start down there. This is in reference of any Android phone running 4.0 or higher, so the earlier uh, Jelly Bean, or I'm sorry, Ice Cream Sandwich, to the point where that is when Wi-Fi Direct was added to smartphones back at 4.0. So when you go to the very bottom, this is going to show anything that is on your device that you're going to transfer. So if I was to transfer anything from this phone to the next, this is what I'm looking at. This is what will go over to the new phone as FYI. But all of this came from my Galaxy Note 3. So I transferred everything from the Note 3, all of my stuff from way back in October. Um, just so you guys know what I did transfer was five contacts, 11 calendar. I actually technically moved over 9,300 text messages, which a lot of those were MMSs as well. Uh, 211 pictures, 124 music files, 32 videos, 79 applications, 20 documents, and then two alarms in terms of some of these settings down here. Now, when you notice these little uh, pencils right here, this is what you can edit. So if there's pictures you do not want to move over, videos you don't want to move over, applications you don't want to use anymore, basically touch on the little pencil, and then that is where you'd be able to edit it. Um, so if some of these I do not want to move over, you're just going to touch it and then hit on the check mark on the top. So I'm actually just going to go back a page here. So anything that you see here, we'll move over to your next device. Again, this is anything saved on the phone, not Gmail or a SIM card. So with these text messages here, this was about 9,300 text messages, and everything was moved over in chronological order all the way back to October, even MMSs. That right there alone took 25 minutes to save, uh, which is actually not bad at all. But the rest of everything else took 15 minutes. So the total time for me moving all of this over was 40 minutes total, with 15 of them being transferring 25 minutes being only the messages. So that's actually a pretty big deal. Now, if you've already transferred everything over, all you have to do if you want to install everything in terms of the application list. So since everything has already moved over, I'm going to go to received app list. And I'm going to go down to where it says install for Android. And then you just go down here and then you just touch it and then you go to install. So that is how that works. So when you guys get Smart Switch, you want to put Smart Switch on both of the devices. The one that you're transferring from, so you can choose what it's doing. And then the phone it's going to, so then you'd be able to go into this application and, and do everything that I'm showing you here in terms of downloading the rest of the applications. So it's going to be using S-Beam to send it over. So what it does is S-Beam uses the NFC to actually pair the two devices together. And then Wi-Fi Direct is what physically sends it over. And again, you do not need to be connected to any Wi-Fi signals at all. Both of these devices can be completely undone or um, not activated, and then it will still move over even if you're in the middle of the desert. So Wi-Fi Direct, you do not need to connect to any Wi-Fi's because the phone setting it up is the one creating the Wi-Fi signal. Now, when you go back, if you're transferring from an iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy phone, this right here is going to be amazing for you. You go to Import from iCloud, all you have to do is type in your Apple ID, type in the password, and then let's start the transfer. On this one, though, you're going to want to be connected to a Wi-Fi signal since it is being pulled down from the iCloud. Now, remember, music and videos on the iCloud or is actually not saved on the iCloud. So any, in terms of your music, you want to plug this into your computer and then see what you're able to transfer over. Um, down here, it's talking about an important change to your iMessages. So when you send iMessages to people, that is through data, not a real text message. So right here, it just talks about how you go to your iPhone, you go to your settings, select messages, turn off iMessage, and then you can do that with all the other devices as well. Um, and if you don't want to do it on the iPhone, you can do it on the computer as well too. So just kind of let you know. And then if you don't have an iCloud, there's another way you'd be able to transfer everything as well too. So here's an application. Again, import from iCloud. Anything that you have on your iCloud, make sure you back it up right before you transfer it over. Your music, your, I'm sorry, your pictures, your gallery, uh, your contacts, the calendar, your application list. And in terms of Apple, if there is an application that's on the iOS that's not on Android, this one right here will actually show you a second tab once you go inside of here, which is going to be on this upper right-hand side. And it's going to say other suggestions or things like that. And it'll show you applications that's the exact same. So if you're transferred from Apple, just make sure you back up your iCloud. Boom, everything will move over except for music and videos. And Android, well, you saw everything that moves over and it's Wi-Fi Direct. So free application, Samsung Smart Switch. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.